Hello YouTubers, today's review is on the new 2012 Tokyo Vinyl Godzilla figures, and today we got the Mecha Godzilla. So the box, a box is the whole reason why these figures are a tad bit expensive, you know, so it's got that, and then it's got the open, I just love it in there, it looks nice. It's good to display your figures, um, there's that picture, you know, we've been seeing this Tokyo vinyl. Here's the picture a little bit bigger. And in the back, it shows the other figure. So there's Mechagodzilla out, which I have. It looks like the arm sculpt on that one is a little bit different. It looks more bent. And there's the Godzilla. And is it just me, or does this picture make it look fat? Yeah, it's probably just me. And the Godzilla looks okay to me. And then the bottom. That says designed by Tumari. Huh. Never heard of them. Anyway, back on to the Mecha Godzilla. He's got a ball jointed head. Oh, darn it, I did it again. He's got a swivel head. Been hanging around Halo Reach figures too long. He's got a swivel head. Swivel arms. That can go through 60. So these, all the five points of articulation can go through 60. And the legs. And then if you're McFarlane, then you know these would be hip. The hips. The hips. Yeah. This figure is really nice. Um, problems with it? I really don't have problems. The, yeah, they didn't do as much detail. Like, they don't even have the MG on this shoulders, they don't have the little buns on the red thing, they're just smooth. But yet, I think these are supposed to be a super deformed figure, so it really does not matter. As for the type of vinyl, well, the hands are a little squishy. This is all one arm. These are kind of squishy. The head, not too much. It's not really squishy. Only really the jaw on the top of the head. Legs, only the feet are squishy. I think I like that. Tail, that's one separate piece. This thing is hard. You could really kill somebody, just go whack! Ooh, I haven't looked at the like his spines too much. Huh, they look really nice. And then his body. Yeah, you're not gonna push this thing in. And that's probably the reason why it's one body. And because it's so small. But yeah. They have a articulated waist on this figure would be difficult because this is hard vinyl his body is completely hard vinyl same with the tail so you can hurt someone he's not really pointy it would just hurt really bad throw this at someone but yeah so as you can tell he's kind of a over exaggerated like his arms are omega long almost as big as his whole body you know like, it's bigger than his body, and of course it's bigger than his head. Yeah. He doesn't seem really that fat. And they give him an extra long tail. Yeah. The detail, I really don't even need to get up close, because you can see the detail from far away. Yeah, they even got the little spots in the hand, you know. The one thing I do like is that he's got a smile. Yeah, and they edged in the teeth. Like what what they did with the Godzilla, where his mouth is kind of open and, you know, you can probably stick a pencil or something in there. So, yeah. This guy, all around, is really nice. He has five points of articulation, and he does not go in scale with any five-inch, I mean, six-inch figure. A.K.A. just because, you know, it's the first thing I could grab, that would be easy. Brown Express Gomera. Haven't seen him in a review for a while. So yeah, he doesn't go in scale with these six inch figures. So I'm sure he'll go fine with the Godzilla. Or the Godzilla from his line. But, you know, now that I think about it, maybe he might go in scale with this Ultra Monster, King of Mons. 
Oh, what is this? He goes in scale quite nicely. He is 80 meters tall. He is 50 meters. This is actually pretty good. I mean, if he wasn't super deformed, he was just a smaller figure, this would be amazing. So, yeah, um, he goes with your smaller kaiju, like, say, the Ghidorahs, uh, they probably look nice. All of mine are shoved in the back of it. Same with Destroy. So I can't perfectly say if he goes in scale with them or not, but this figure is very nice. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying more from the series. So, yeah. Anyway, this has been the to Tokyo Vinyl Godzilla series line for Mechagodzilla. And I'll see you guys later. Wow.